one of it. We're doing this for money to survive in this world. But until we get that, or a little bit of support from the government, it's not going to stop. That's what I think, isn't it? Feeling isolated in life isn't an excuse, but it is part of the context. In explaining their actions, these looters have made it much more likely that the police will catch them. People who know them will recognise them. But they wanted to give their reasons. They wanted what they haven't got, a voice. Tom Parman to Sky News, South London. With me now, Josh Brown from the campaign group Not In Our Name and Anastasia Duval from the think tank Civitas. Patsy Mackay from Mothers Against Violence joins us from Manchester. Good afternoon to you all. Josh Brown, to you first. Your reaction to what you saw there in Tom Parmenter's report? Um, really, I think it's been a mixed emotion for me. Um, I have understanding from young people's point of view and I also have the understanding from everyone else's point of view. What do you mean you have an understanding from young people's point of view? I mean, you're a young person and there is a danger, isn't there, that this becomes an issue about youth? Um, really, I think there's not many opportunities for young people. So that's my understanding from a young person's point of view. I'm doing a lot right now. I'm inside the Sky News office having an interview and I still can't find a job. Um, I've been searching for the past year, two years, and I see there's a lack of opportunities for young people. A lack of opportunity is certainly um, what those young men uh, that Tom Palmenter was speaking to uh, talked about and they used it to blame. But does that mean that you have to turn to crime to do that? Um, I wouldn't say nothing about crime, but it's hard times we're living in now due to all the cut of funding and it's hard to live. And I see it as an opportunity to make money, but I wouldn't say crime... Um, well, crime pays, but I wouldn't say crime is the right way about it. Uh, Anastasia Damal, when we've been looking through those who've been arrested moving through the court system, it's become clear that this just isn't just about one particular portion of society, isn't it? This isn't just about disaffected youths, because we've had you know, an aspiring social worker, yeah. we've had a law student, we've had an accountancy student yeah. in here. Mm. What is this all about? Yeah. I mean, I think it's come as a great surprise to people to see, A, that it's not just young people, B, it's not just deprived young people, mm. and C, it is people who we consider to come from respectable jobs, and crucially, who have jobs. I think we do have to be very careful about looking at the social issues behind it, where they apply, and looking about a lack of opportunity, and also looking at the opportunism that effectively has been, in many cases, what it's been about. So people have seen a chaotic situation, they've seen an opportunity to take something and despite having okay circumstances have taken that. I mean I think what we've heard from the young people that we were listening to on the video is that there is a serious issue underlying this for many of the young Yeah I mean they started off uh, laughing and bragging about what they'd got yeah. but actually towards the end of that interview we did hear perhaps their reasons although Eric Pickles, for example, today responding to it has said he thinks it's a social worker talking and it's just an excuse. Well, I think we need to factor in how much of this is received in the sense of how much is now being used as an excuse. Mm. OK, this makes it sound more palatable. But the reality is that we know that in a lot of the areas affected, unemployment really is rife. We know that the impact of unemployment, not being able to get a job, is not just poverty, but actually a chaotic life in the sense of really being disengaged from the community. I think we need to take that seriously. I think it's incredibly useful to be talking to young people. I think that the one absence in this discussion has been we've had a lot of people, a lot of policy wonks like me talking about it, but not enough talking to young people and asking why are you doing this? What is it actually well, that's the problem? It's, it's interesting you should say that Anastasia because we had a lot of emails in today saying that we shouldn't be putting these people on television but the question that everyone has been asking yeah. you say is why are these people doing it? Should we, to understand them, do we need to hear from them. I just want to bring Patsy Mackay in on this uh, point. Those young people giving us their reasons for it, saying that it's down to the government, it's about EMAs, it's about a lack of opportunity. Is it just the government? What about parental responsibility here? Well, I would like to say that children, yes, are first born into houses and they're born into families. And from there until they may be about four or five, you have them in a house and then they start mixing with family, friends and going to school. But I really believe that the, the problem and the difficulty is some of the things that the young men have said, some of the things that the other women have said, but also if we look at what's happening in our community, 
those young people didn't actually just drop out of the sky. They came from homes and families, they came from communities. And so one of the things we need to look at is how we are kind of a dealing with them and how we are finding out what their needs are and meeting those needs. This is very, very important in the scheme of things. The young people are talking about what uh, the MPs did and what uh, the bankers did and no one usually see that as criminal, but they're seeing it to that. They have learned that. They experience. They learn from what they see, what they hear, and what they experience. And once they start doing that, then they become a part of our society, and they will follow and do what they see other people do, and that's what's happening now. So, Patsy Mackay, is what you're saying that we need to uh, get through to these uh, people very early, that it's about the way in which they're educated and communicated to within the family first, um, is it too late once yes. they reach their teenage years? I mean, one of those young men was talking about his mother uh, shutting him in his room and telling him to stay there, but he climbed out the window. I mean, can you get through? Can you control a teenager? I really believe it's not about controlling. I don't believe human beings are supposed to be controlled. And it's got nothing to do with controlling them. I really believe it's about loving them and showing them you love and you care about them. And once they can see that, and they can actually see that other people around them are caring about them, supporting them and helping them, and most of all, listening to them, then we will see a change in our communities. Josh Brown, I could hear you uh, saying yes to that comment. You were agreeing with what Patsy was saying there. Yes, definitely. I think we need to see more support with young people. I think we need to create a voice for young people so we're actually heard. Um, and I'm um, touching the issue on um, parental responsibility. I know that a lot of authority has been taken from parents. Uh, it's just interesting, Patsy Mackay, one other point I want to put to you. We, we've been showing a clip on Sky News throughout the day here of the mother of an Olympic hopeful who uh, called 999 after seeing her um, daughter on television and she reported her to the police. Do you think that was the right action? Well, she did what she believed was right. So for some people it wouldn't be right, but she did what she believed was right. Some people wouldn't do that. And that's what they believe is right as well. So I think it's really important that we look at issues and from uh, the angle of the people who are doing it and why they do it. OK, Patsy, Anastasia and Josh, thank you for your time. And we're going to be running a half-hour special programme, Looters, based on Tom Parmenter's report. You can see that here on Sky News at half-past seven this evening. There have been more raids...